God bless you. What an encouragement today taken from the Word of God in Philippians 4, from verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always again, and I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. It said, rejoice in the Lord always, and again, I say rejoice. How can you rejoice when things are happening around you that doesn't seem as though it's working out in your favor? But the word said rejoice. So you may think, well, how can I rejoice when things aren't working out for me? How can I rejoice when I've lost everything that I have? How can I rejoice when I feel as though I'm losing my mind? But the word said, rejoice in the Lord always. That means it's not contingent on whether things are good, I'm trying to help you, or whether things are bad. But the word said, rejoice in the Lord always. That means even in your bad times, in your lowest times, in the times when you feel as though you're pressed real low down to the ground, he said, rejoice. And again, I say, rejoice. And one of the key things it's saying is, do not be anxious about anything, but make your request known unto God with prayer and supplication. Now, the, the thing about anxiety is, and one of the things I've learned is that fear will bring on a lot of anxiety. Fear will bring on a lot of things that will overwhelm you. And when you are feeding fear, it becomes bigger than it actually is. The reality of fear is it's false evidence. It appears real. It is not. The enemy uses fear as a tactic. The, the, the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear. That tells me that it is a spirit. Therefore, if you connect to that spirit, you will be fearful. You will be intimidated. But we have power, glory to God, over and against the enemy. So in this word today, if there's anything that I want you to take and hold in your spirit right now, it says pray with all supplication and thanksgiving and make your request known unto God. What does that mean? It means if you're making a request, it means you, whether you write it or you speak it, the request is then put out. My God, some of us need to place what we have to place in the atmosphere. I'm not asking to write someone and tell them this is how I feel. I'm saying place it, hallelujah, in the atmosphere and release it across the hemisphere and say, God, this is my petition. This is my plea, because guess what? He already has the answers. He already has the results. You're the one that's waiting, pending the result. But he already has it. And he says, make your request known unto him. So let me encourage someone that's anxious, someone that's fearful, someone that's dubious, someone that's caught in between their, their, their faith and their fear. Let me tell you this, the enemy is using that to hold you. But I come to encourage you today, let your request be made known unto God. And in everything, give thanks. Thank him even when it looks bad. Even at the worstest scenario, thank him. Because he is the one that has the answer and he will be the only one that will pursue your life into greater let us pray father today in the name of jesus god we honor you we glorify your name thank you for this opportunity god that every day that we can get up we have new mercies great is your faithfulness hallelujah thank you holy spirit for faith is the substance of things hoped for is the evidence of things we just cannot see it but we believe for it and we pray in the name of jesus today that as our faith touches and connects with you the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the great I am, my God, the conquering Lion of Judah, the one that breaks and destroys every chain. I pray in the name of Jesus, somebody listening right now, they don't see how they can rejoice in the midst of this storm, but I pray in the name of Jesus that as they stand up, they will begin to feel, my God, their burdens have been lifted. Their, my God, everything that was pressed up against them on their back was on the one side, and on the right and the left, there was pressure, but my God, you have relieved and brought forth wholeness and healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus. So cover us with your blood and your power. Strengthen us, God, and equip us for what is to come is greater. We thank you today, God. We will not be anxious. 
we will not be fearful because we trust in you, the true and living God. So cover us with your blood, God, and keep us with your mighty hand. And it is in the name of Jesus we pray and say amen. Amen. Hallelujah.